Let's solve problem number 9 on recurrences using substitution method. Here is the problem. When n is equal to 2 power 2 times k for some k greater than or equal to 0, the recurrence relation Tn is equal to square root of 2 times Tn by 2 plus square root of n, comma T1 equal to 1 evaluates to square root of n times log n plus 1, square root of n times log n, square root of n times log square root of n or n times log square root of n. Which of these options is correct? This question has been asked in gate IT 2008. We have already solved these type of problems. I want you to pause this video and try to solve this problem on your own and then we will proceed with my solution. So pause the video now. I hope you are done. Now let's try to solve this problem together. Here we have this recurrence relation. Tn is square root of 2 times Tn by 2 plus square root of n. This is the recursive case. And this is the base case. T1 is equal to 1. Now, this recurrence relation is satisfied when n is equal to 2 power 2 times k for some k greater than or equal to 0. Let me mention this that n equal to 2 power 2 times k is not going to contribute to the solution of this recurrence relation. We anyway is going to solve this problem using the substitution method. This is just telling us that this recurrence relation is satisfied for some values of n. Here we have n equal to 2 power 2 times k, where k is greater than or equal to 0. If we plug in k as 0, we will get 1. If we plug in k as 1, we will get 4. If we plug in k as 2, we will get 16. In this way, we will get different values of n. We already know for n equal to 1, t1 is equal to 1. So, the base case is satisfied for n equal to 1. For other values of n, this recurrence relation will be satisfied. So, this is what is indicated here. It is not going to contribute to the solution of this problem. So, we can ignore this and try to solve this recurrence relation using the substitution method. Eventually, we need to find the exact value, not the asymptotic value of this recurrence relation. These are the exact values. So now, let's try to solve this problem. For this, we will remove this part of the problem and we will try to solve the problem here. Let's dive into the solution. We have this recursive case Tn equal to square root of 2 times Tn by 2 plus square root of n. Let's write this as it is here. We are going to apply substitution method to this recursive case. Here we have Tn by 2. We can substitute it by square root of 2 times Tn by 2 square plus square root of n by 2. Why? We just need to replace n by n by 2 here. We will get Tn by 2 in the left hand side. And in the right hand side, we will get square root of 2 times T n by 2 square plus square root of n by 2. So now we can replace Tn by 2 with its value and we will get the new Tn as Tn equal to square root of 2 times square root of 2 Tn by 2 square plus square root of n by 2 and then plus square root of n outside these brackets. Within these square brackets, I have mentioned the value of Tn by 2 and this is the new Tn. Now we can multiply square root of 2 by this term and this term. We will get square root of 2 times square root of 2, which is equal to square root of 2 whole square. And it is multiplied to Tn by 2 square. And square root of 2 is also multiplied to square root of n by 2. This is equivalent to square root of 2 times square root of n by square root of 2. And this is eventually equal to square root of n. So now we know that this is square root of 2 whole square times t n by 2 square plus square root of 2 times square root of n by 2 plus square root of n. This is equivalent to square root of 2 times square root of n by square root of 2. Square root of 2 and square root of 2 get cancelled. We will be left with square root of n here. 
एंड स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ एन प्लस स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ एन इज टू टाइम्स स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ एन so this is the final equation so obtained this tn is represented in terms of tn by 2 square now we can continue in the same way and insert the value of tn by 2 square now what is tn by 2 square we can substitute tn by 2 square by square root of 2 times tn by 2 cube plus square root of n by 2 square after replacing tn by 2 square by its value we will get some polynomial and by solving that polynomial we will get this square root of 2 whole cube times tn by 2 cube plus 3 times square root of n so this is new tn in terms of tn by 2 cube and now we can observe the pattern as well if we have tn by 2 square this means if we have the power of 2 here then here also we will have power as 2 this means the power of square root of 2 is 2 and 2 is also multiplied to square root of n if we have tn by 2 cube this means if the power is 3 here then here also for square root of 2 the power must be 3 and 3 must also be multiplied to square root of n so one thing is clear that if we continue up to let's say tn by 2 power k then the power of square root of 2 must be k and k must also be multiplied to square root of n so this is what we will get tn is equal to square root of 2 to the power k times tn by 2 power k plus k times square root of n this is tn in terms of tn by 2 power k now this is my assumption that n by 2 power k is the point where we have reached the base case this means tn by 2 power k must be equal to t1 and this means n by 2 power k is equal to 1 this is my assumption if n by 2 power k is equal to 1 we can easily find the value of k in terms of n eventually we want to find the value of tn in terms of n this is what we saw in the options as well so now we are going to find the value of k let's do this Here we have n by 2 power k equal to 1. We can multiply the left hand side by 2 power k, and in the right hand side also we can multiply 1 by 2 power k. We will get n equal to 2 power k. Now we can bring k to the base by taking log on both sides. Let's apply log base 2 on both sides because we have this constant 2 here, and we want to eliminate this. so we will get log n base 2 equal to log 2 power k base 2 here we can apply the property of logarithm which is log a power b base c this is equivalent to b times log a base c this means this is equivalent to k times log 2 base 2 now what is log 2 base 2 log 2 base 2 is 1 and if 1 is multiplied to k we will get k here so we are left with k only in the right hand side and in the left hand side we have log n base 2 so k must be equal to log n base 2 this is the result of k now we know what k is we can replace k by log n base 2 in this way we will get this equation in the form of n but before that let's replace tn by 2 power k by 1 because we have assumed that n by 2 power k is equal to 1 hence if we replace n by 2 power k by 1 we will get t1 here and t1 is equal to 1 so we can replace tn by 2 power k by 1 and therefore we will get square root of 2 to the power k so this is equivalent to t1 and t1 is equal to 1 so we will get square root of 2 power k plus k times square root of n now we can substitute k by log n base 2 here we are getting square root of 2 to the power log n base 2 we can apply the property of logarithm here we can bring this square root of 2 here and n here so we will get n to the power log square root of 2 base 2 now what is log square root of 2 base 2 square root of 2 can be rewritten as 2 power 1 by 2 so this is equivalent to log 2 power 1 by 2 base 2 this is same as 1 by 2 times log 2 base 2 the same property which we have applied here 
so we will get 1 by 2 times log 2 base 2 log 2 base 2 is 1 so we will be left with 1 by 2 only so this is equivalent to n power 1 by 2 and what is n power 1 by 2 square root of n so here we are getting square root of n and here we have k times square root of n now what is k we know k is log n base 2 so let's replace k by log n base 2 here now we have square root of n plus log n base 2 times square root of n. We can take square root of n common, so we will get square root of n times 1 plus log n base 2. This is the exact value of tn. We can eliminate the base here. We will be left with square root of n times 1 plus log n. So this is the exact value of tn, not the asymptotic value. And hence, Option A is the correct option. This is the option which is matching with the result that we have obtained. And you can observe that we are not using this value of n which is 2 power 2 times k. This is not contributing to the solution of this problem. With this we are done with this problem. We learned how to solve these type of problems. And this means we are done with this topic and this lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.